I would like to start my talk with a piece of a poem written by Cairo. From my village I see as much in the universe as you can see from Earth. So my village is as big as any other land because I am the size of what I see, not the size of my height. So what do you see? What were you taught to see? I am here to tell you the true story of a boy who lives in a very humble neighborhood in Rio de Janeiro. Let's call him Carlos, although that's not his real name. Carlos and his friends did not feel what happened in their school was relevant. They loved going to the beach, they played sports, they played games, and they didn't like staying in a place that was so disconnected from everything they enjoyed. Actually, his story is similar to those of other boys and girls around the world in a very sad way. Learning does not happen in their schools. As a consequence, they do not develop their potential, and they're den denied the possibility of having or pursuing dreams. The lack of quality education not only closes children's eyes to all they could do to themselves and to the world, but it is also the main reason why we have such huge problems in other areas, such as health, peacekeeping, safety, and socioeconomic development. Transforming public education and opening up children's eyes is my life's mission and the reason I get out of bed every morning. But let's go back to Carlos's story. In 2009, we started investigating why so many students in Rio were not learning. We found out some interesting um, things. For example, it was not only students, but also teachers who did not feel motivated. Teachers and students said they lacked clarity in goals, and they also needed more resources. So we designed an ambitious plan based on three eyes. We wanted drastic changes to happen in every classroom and every school, so we knew we needed the first I, innovation. With the help of our teachers, we created very clear curricular guidelines and workbooks for every grade and every subject. Then we created Educopedia, an online collaborative platform of digital lessons for students and teachers to use anywhere and anytime. Our own teachers prepared the lessons and included videos, texts, games, quizzes, and lesson plans, and they covered all our skills and abilities. We also had transmedia books and tools for students and teachers to create their own digital books individually or in groups. When Carlos started using Educopedia, it was love at first sight, but we knew that was not enough. We wanted every teacher and every student to be able to use it and to want to use it. So we knew we needed a second I, which is inspiration. And I'm not talking about inspiring children, although that's extremely important. I'm talking about those, inspiring those who really make things happen. In this case, they were the teachers, but in other contexts, they could be aid workers or firefighters or engineers. If you want people to go out and change the world, you must inspire them deeply. So we created Ambassadors of Educopedia, a group of students and teachers who were already innovators themselves and whose job was to help and inspire their peers. If someone didn't know how to use the platform, or if for any reason they felt resistant, it was the ambassador's role to reach out to these people's hearts and minds and inspire them. Carlos not only became a student ambassador, but he also created a blog where he started exchanging practices with other student ambassadors like him. And that was when he invited me to go and meet him in his school, and we had an amazing time. So we already had innovative tools and practices in place, and we already had people inspiring their peers. We needed the third eye for scaling up, which is infrastructure. You can't build demand and not give people everything they need in order to change habits, cultures, and mindsets. This means not only providing money, equipment, materials, buildings, but how you do that is key. It is important to start from an endpoint and work backwards, paying lots of attention to details. Any small mistake may harm the entire implementation process. Also fundamental is to have the end users, in this case the teachers and the students, participate in all the steps to plan the infrastructure improvement. So we decided to install projectors, netbooks, and speakers in every classroom. But the details of how that would be done were carefully thought out by a multidisciplinary group that included the teachers and students, but also engineers 
and uh, designers. So these people, they come from different worlds and they speak different languages. But when they started to work together, they began to understand each other's point of view and open each other's eyes. So Carlos, his friends, and his teachers participated not only in planning, but also in implementing and using the new school infrastructure. And that's not all. Carlos became one of the best students in the entire network of schools. We had 700,000 students. He was, among one of, he was one of the best of them. This boy with a very humble background dared to apply for the three best high schools in the city of Rio, and he was accepted in all three of them. Today, he still goes back to his old school to help his old teachers and new friends. Also in 2011, with the help of Educopedia, Rio achieved one of the best improvements in learning among all Brazilian major cities. So, I agree with Marcel Proust that the real voyage of discovery consists not in seeking new landscapes, but in having new eyes. And education is all about opening people's eyes, including our own. In order to scale up real change, we need the three eyes. Innovation, inspiration, and infrastructure. If we want different results, we must think and act differently. If we want people to go out and change the world and inspire others, we first need to inspire them. If we want to move mountains, we need the right infrastructure, and we need to use it well. So if we use the three eyes and we open our, our own eyes, just like Carlos did, if we all dream and build together, there's no limit to how many eyes will open and how many brighter futures will help create. Enough of wasting lives. Thank you. <laughs>